Dr. Ginota was a Dutch certificate authority owned by Vasco Data Security International. On September 3, 2011, after it had become clear that a security breach had resulted in the fraudulent issuing of certificates, the Dutch government took over operational management of Diginotus systems. That same month, the company was declared bankrupt. An investigation into the hacking by Dutch government-appointed Fox IT consultancy identified 300,000 Iranian GMAIL users as the main target of the hack, and suspected that Iranian government was behind the hack. While nobody has been charged with the break-in and compromise of the certificates, cryptographer Bruce Schneier says the attack may have been, either the work of the NSA, or exploited by the NSA. However, this has been disputed, with others saying the NSA had only detected a foreign intelligence service using the fake certificates. The hack has also been claimed by the so-called Komoda hacker, allegedly a 21-year-old Iranian student, who also claimed to have hacked four other certificate authorities, including Komodo, a claim found plausible by F-Secure, although not fully explaining how it led to the subsequent wide-scale interception of Iranian citizens. After more than 500 fake Diginota certificates were found, major web browser makers reacted by blacklisting all Diginota certificates. The scale of the incident was used by some organizations like ENISA and AccessNow.org to call for a deeper reform of HTTPS in order to remove the weakest link possibility that a single compromised CA can affect that many users. Company, Diginota's main activity was as a certificate authority, issuing two types of certificate. Firstly, they issued certificates under their own name. Intrust certificates were not issued since July 2010, but some were still valid up to July 2013. Secondly, they issued certificates for the Dutch government's Pkaiovariad program. This issuance was via two intermediate certificates, each of which chained up to one of the two Start der Nederlanden root CAs. National and local Dutch authorities and organizations offering services for the government who want to use certificates for secure Internet communication can request such a certificate. Some of the most used electronic services offered by Dutch governments use certificates from Diginota. Examples were the authentication infrastructure GD and the central car registration organization Ridsdienst for Het Verkeer. The Diginota root CA root was included in the trusted root lists of common Internet client software but has now been removed. The Start der Nederlanden roots were initially kept because they were not believed to be compromised. However, they have since been revoked. Equals History equals, Diginota was originally set up in 1998 by the Dutch notary Dick Batenberg from Beveridge and the Koninklijk Notaria Libero Eps Organicity the national body for Dutch civil law notaries. The KNB offers all kind of central services to the notaries, and because many of the services that notaries offer are official legal procedures, security and communications is important. The KNB offered advisory services to their members on how to implement electronic services in their business. One of these activities was offering secure certificates. Dick Batenberg and the KNB formed the group TTP Notarizen, where TTP stands for Trusted Third Party. A notary can become member of TTP Notarizen if they comply with certain rules. If they comply with additional rules on training and work procedures, they can become an accredited TTP notary. Although Diginota had been a general purpose CA for several years, they still targeted the market for notaries and other professionals. On January 10, 2011, the company was sold to Vasco Data Security International, Inc. In a Vasco press release dated June 20, 2011, one day after Diginota first detected an incident on their systems Vasco's president and COO Jan Valk is quoted as stating we believe that Diginota's certificates are among the most reliable in the field. Equals bankruptcy equals, on September 20, 2011, Vasco announced that its subsidiary Diginota was declared bankrupt after filing for voluntary bankruptcy at the Harlem court. Effective immediately the court appointed a receiver, a court-appointed trustee who takes over the management of all of Diginota Euro unregistered trademark S affairs as it proceeds through the bankruptcy process to liquidation. Equals refusal to publish report equals, the curator doesn't want to have a report from ITSEC on the company, 
the way they operated and details of the hack of 2011 that lead to the bankruptcy of Diginota, to be published as he is afraid that publication of it might lead to additional claims towards Diginota. The report was made on request of the Dutch supervisory agency OPTA who refused to publish the report in the first place. In a freedom of information legislation procedure started by a journalist the receiver tried to convince the courts not to allow publication of this report and confirm the OPTA's initial refusal to do so. Issuance of fraudulent certificates, on July 10, 2011, an attacker with access to Diginota's systems issued a wild card certificate for Google. This certificate was subsequently used by unknown persons in Iran to conduct a man-in-the-middle attack against Google services. On August 28, 2011, certificate problems were observed on multiple Internet service providers in Iran. The fraudulent certificate was posted on Pastebin. According to a subsequent news release by Vasco, Diginota had detected an intrusion into its certificate authority infrastructure on July 19, 2011. Diginota did not publicly reveal the security breach at the time. After this certificate was found, Diginota belatedly admitted dozens of fraudulent certificates had been created, including certificates for the domains of Yahoo, Mozilla, WordPress and the Tor project. Diginota could not guarantee all such certificates had been revoked. Google blacklisted 247 certificates in Chromium, but the final known total of MIS issued certificates is at least 531. Investigation by F-Secure also revealed that Diginota's website had been defaced by Turkish and Iranian hackers in 2009. In reaction, Microsoft removed the Diginota root certificate from its list of trusted certificates with its browsers on all supported releases of Microsoft Windows and Mozilla revoked trust in the Diginota root certificate in all supported versions of its Firefox browser. Chromium slash Google Chrome was able to detect the fraudulent Google.com certificate due to its certificate pinning security feature. However, this protection was limited to Google domains, which resulted in Google removing Diginota from its list of trusted certificate issuers. Opera always checks the certificate revocation list of the certificates issuer and so they initially stated they did not need a security update. However, later they also removed the root from their trust store. On September 9, 2011, Apple issued Security Update 2011-005 for Mac OS X 10 June 8 and 10.7.1, which removes Diginota from the list of trusted root certificates and EV certificate authorities. Without this update, Safari and Mac OS X do not detect the certificate's revocation, and users must use the keychain utility to manually delete the certificate. Apple did not patch iOS until October 13, 2011 with the release of iOS 5. Diginota also controlled an intermediate certificate which was used for issuing certificates as part of the Dutch government Euro Unregistered Trademark S Public Key Infrastructure Pioverid program, chaining up to the official Dutch government certification authority. Once this intermediate certificate was revoked or marked as untrusted by browsers, the chain of trust for their certificates was broken, and it was difficult to access services such as the identity management platform GD and the Tax and Customs Administration. GovCert, the Dutch Computer Emergency Response Team, initially did not believe the Pyoverid certificates had been compromised, although security specialists were uncertain. Because these certificates were initially thought not to be compromised by the security breach, they were, at the request of the Dutch authorities, kept exempt from the removal of trust a euro although one of the two, the active start der Niederlanden, G2 root certificate, was overlooked by the Mozilla engineers and accidentally distrusted in the Firefox build. However, this assessment was rescinded after an audit by the Dutch government, and the Diginota controlled intermediates in the start der Niederlanden hierarchy were also blacklisted by Mozilla in the next security update, and also by other browser manufacturers. The Dutch government announced on September 3, 2011, that they will switch to a different firm as certificate authority. Equals steps taken by the Dutch government equals, after the initial claim that the certificates under the Diginota controlled intermediate certificate in the Pyoverid hierarchy weren't affected, further investigation by an external party, the Fox IT consultancy, showed evidence of hacker activity on those machines as well. Consequently, 
the Dutch government decided on September 3, 2011, to withdraw their earlier statement that nothing was wrong. The Fox IT report identified 300,000 Iranian GMAIL accounts as the main victims of the hack. Dejinota was only one of the available CAs in Kyoveriid, so not all certificates used by the Dutch government under their route were affected. When the Dutch government decided that they had lost their trust in Dejinota, they took back control over the company's intermediate certificate in order to manage an orderly transition, and they replaced the untrusted certificates with new ones from one of the other providers. The much-used GD platform now uses a certificate issued by Getronics Pink Ricade Nederland BV. According to the Dutch government, Dejinota gave them its full cooperation with these procedures. After the removal of trust in Dejinota, there are now four certification service providers that can issue certificates under the Pkyovariate hierarchy. Digidentity, ESG or de Electro Niche Signato, Quo Vades, KPN Certificate Dienst Fellini NG. All four companies have opened special help desks and or published information on their websites as to how organizations that have a Pkyovariate certificate from Dejinota can request a new certificate from one of the remaining four providers. See also, Komoda Group, Iran SSL Certificate Controversy, Operation Shady RAT, PLA Unit 61398, Stuxnet, Tailored Access Operations. References Further reading, Fox IT. Black Tulip, Report of the Investigation into the Dejinota Certificate Authority Breach. External links, Official Website, Official Website. Fraudulent certificates a Euro list of common names, Dejino to report security incident, pastebin posts, gmail.com SSL MITM attack by Iranian government minus 272,011, Internet death sentence for Dejino to's root CA. Mozilla Foundation Security Advisory 2011-34, Protection against fraudulent Dejino to certificates, Microsoft Security Advisory. Fraudulent digital certificates could allow spoofing, Dejino to compromise, Mozilla's Gavas Markham's account of how and why Mozilla blacklisted Dejino to. Jonathan Nightingale. Dejino to removal follow-up. Mozilla Security Blog. Retrieved September 4, 2011. Account by the Director of Firefox Engineering at the Mozilla Corporation of why Mozilla's removal of Dejino to from the trusted list is not a temporary suspension but a complete revocation of trust. Video on YouTube by Fox IT, showing the subsequent OSCP requests by Iranian users of Dejinota certificates.